Friends, in today's video, we will be exposing an emulator that is designed exclusively for Battle Royale games. With this emulator, you can easily play games like Scarfall or Free Fire. Speaking of its system requirements, you will need a minimum of 2 GB of RAM and a dual-core processor is a must. There is no need for a dedicated graphics card. Many YouTubers claim that this emulator can run on 1 GB of RAM, but to be honest, there hasn't been any emulator or Android operating system developed that can run smoothly on 1 GB of RAM. However, if you still want to try playing Android games on your 1 GB RAM P, see you can explore alternative Android emulators. I recommend you leave this video here and click on the i button above to watch that video. If you have a 1 GB RAM P, see I will also provide a link in the description. Now, let's start the video without any unnecessary talk. First, let me show you the specifications of my PC so that all your doubts are clear. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a small i5 processor. Now, let me also show you the graphics card. As you can see, my PC has an Intel built-in graphics card with 64 MB of memory. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The download link for this emulator will be available in the description for you to download. Simply click on Next. Then click on I agree and click on Install. The installation process may take 5 to 10 minutes, so I'll pause the video here. Friends, the installation process is now complete. Now, you need to right-click on the Smart Gaga icon and go to Properties. In the Compatibility tab, select Windows 7 and check the Run as Administrator option, then click Apply. Friends, if you've watched the video up to this point, please like the video, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to see more tech-related videos. Now. Don't skip the video here because I'm going to share some important settings with you. Simply click on the settings button and go to the advanced tab. Here, you need to click on mobile and select 720p. Inside CPU core, select four cores and for RAM, choose 1536 MB. Now, in the renderer section, you have two options. If your game crashes on directs, select open goal, otherwise, leave it as it is. Uncheck the option below, then click save and restart your emulator once. Friends, I've installed Free Fire, so let's test it. As you can see, this emulator comes with built-in key mapping, so you don't need to set up key mapping separately. If Free Fire is still lagging for you, I recommend watching the video on the left. In that video, I've shown how to install the best alternative to Android emulators, and I'll see you there.